Sometimes you may find yourself wanting to export data from either a table or a query into a program that somebody has like Word. So to do that, to export it from the query or table, just go ahead and select it. Let me do um, book sales. Come up here, click on the external data tab, go to the export group, click on the more button and go down and export the selected objects. I've only selected one to Word and it will do it in rich text. Let me click on that to show you. RTF, rich text file. Rich means that it can be formatted as opposed to plain text which doesn't contain any formatting. And by default, if you have Microsoft Word 2010, it'll open up RTF rich text format files. Let me show you. So it says, okay, specify the destination, file name, and format. So right now it wants to dump it into my documents folder. No. Let's go ahead and click browse. Go to the desktop and, heck, why not just do it on the desktop? Click save. And then is that the name that I want to give it? Um, book sales, that's fine. If not, I can go in here and delete TBL and just have book sales and then leave the extension for rich text file RTF and then all we have to do is go ahead and click OK and then do we want to save these export steps that way instead of going through all this again we can just go to the um, it's right there I don't know if you can see it save exports click on that and select what we saved it as well if I check here that's what it's going to be saved as export book sales and it's going to be TBL book sales in any case we'll say save it that's it Let's go ahead and minimize this down to the taskbar. There it is, RTF. It's got the uh, Word icon there, meaning that Word recognizes the content within it. So if I double click to open it up, it'll open up the contents within Word. And there we go. There are my column labels, column headers, and the corresponding data down below. That way I can go ahead and, uh, well, it's quite a bit, email this off to uh, whoever needs it or put it on the network. And then as you recall, let me come down here and click on the access button to restore the program here. That I save this as an export. So that way if I come in here in the book sales table and I make some changes, and the book sold for, well, the customer here was not 100, it was 101. So let's try to remember customer ID 32560, and then click below it to save it. Go ahead and uh, close out of here. We saved it as an export, so now I need to export this with the new changes to my desktop. Again, external data to the export group, click on Saved Exports. There it is, go ahead and click Run. It's going to overwrite the file with, with everything here, including those changes, and go ahead and say yes, we want to replace that. It says it did it successfully, click Okie Dokie and close out and minimize down there, double click, open up, and there we go, 32560. Instead of 100, it's now updated and shows 101. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.